So these are the many categories of fibroids which you can have in varying sizes from microscopic to very large. Not all fibroids are linked to infertility. The size and position are important determining factors. It is important to note that about 50 to 60% of the fibroids are asymptomatic. In this video, let me tell you the story of Akshita, a 27-year-old woman who had a fine career and life but had one major issue. She used to have heavy flow and severe pain during her periods. On ultrasound, a fibroid was discovered inside the uterus, a condition that affects 30 to 50% of women in the reproductive age group. Fibroid, also known as myoma or leiomyoma, is a benign or non-cancerous tumour originating from the uterus. It can be single or multiple and the size may vary from microscopic to very large. About one third of the patients will have heavy or prolonged bleeding. Some of the telltale signs are soaking of one or more pads per hour over several hours in a row, changing pads or tampons frequently during the night, having periods longer than a week, menstrual blood having large blood clots, fatigue, excess weakness or shortness of breath due to severe anemia. Another very common symptom is experiencing pain during menses that can be more than usual, severe or even cramping sort of pain. Sometimes large fibroids degenerate causing pain. Sometimes large fibroids lead to fullness of the abdomen and a sensation of bloating. Depending on the position of the fibroid and the size of the fibroid, one can experience pain during sexual intercourse. Large or cervical fibroids can interfere in the flow of urine from the kidneys and can also cause painful urination. The pressure effect exerted by a fibroid can result in constipation or even piles. A fibroid, depending on its size and position, can interfere in implantation after fertilization and can lead to recurring abortions. And if the pregnancy continues, it can compel the baby to adopt an abnormal position inside the uterus and can cause complications during delivery such as preterm birth, breech delivery or higher incidence of a cesarean section. Hence, for those planning pregnancy, removal of fibroids can drastically improve the chances of maintaining pregnancy. So just to give you an overview of what the uterus actually looks like, this is the uterus, this is the muscular part, the shaded part is the muscular part, okay? These are the ovaries, these are the ovaries, okay? So where exactly can you have fibroids? So basically anywhere. If it, the fibroid is inside the muscle portion of the uterus, then it is called intramural. If the fibroid projects inside the cavity of the uterus, this creates problems during implantation and creates problem in pregnancy. This is called submucosal. And if the fibroid projects outside the uterus, then this is called a subserosal fibroid. So these are the many categories of fibroids which you can have in varying sizes from microscopic to very large. The fibroids can also occur somewhere here, outside the uterus, in the cervix, etc. Now that we have understood the symptoms of fibroid, let us now see what are the causes of fibroids. The reason for developing fibroids are mainly genetic. Their growth is affected by increase in estrogen and hormonal imbalance in the body. Other risk factors are having periods at a young age, late menopause, not becoming pregnant and chemicals such as phenols and plastics are also linked to their development. There are several myths surrounding fibroids. 
which creates unnecessary anxiety in the mind of a woman the three most important ones are not all fibroids require removal certain large ones or the ones that cause substantial symptoms that i have already mentioned need treatment fibroids tend to reoccur even after their removal as they are basically overgrowing muscle fibers not all fibroids are linked to infertility the size and position are important determining factors it is important to note that about 50 to 60% of the fibroids are asymptomatic and many are incidentally diagnosed at the time of a routine ultrasound which is done for any other cause so it's important for you to not be afraid of fibroids and now that you have a brief idea of what exactly they are in the next video let us discuss the treatment options available